My name is Inbal Segev, and today I wanted to talk about the Element from Bach's uh, third suite. Uh, I performed this piece all over the world, and uh, in fact, this weekend I'm playing it again, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to share my thoughts with you. This is uh, a class designed to take your playing to the next level. Let's start working. Immediately in the beginning, there's a couple of different ways of thinking of those three sixteenth notes, which is not a typical uh, beginning for all the other elements of uh, the cello suites, which starts with a single note upbeat. Um, you can start leading into the C, or you can start by a um, gentler, uh, gentler gesture. The first bar of the piece, um, those three uh, beats. Uh, Bach repeats statements three times quite often. Uh, the uh, Holy Trinity, or however you want to think of it. Um, I think the last one, I think of a uh, maybe a tongue in cheek or a, a, a different character. Um, then we go on. Let's look at the trill. On the second bar we have the trill on the third beat. With Baroque practice we start on the upper note. And be sure to stop the trill before, just a little bit before the note. And then um, starts a cycle of Fifth. Um, and so it's G, A, F, G, A, F. So um, keep in mind that uh, underlying harmony is very important for uh, all of Bach works. There are two, at least two voices going on here. It's a. Uh, out. Starting from the fourth beat of the second bar, uh, there's a cycle of fifths. Um, there's three different things going on here. If we really break it down. But I think you should be aware of these elements. Eh? I even color in my music and I'm going to show you now. Um, there's the G, F, and then E, and then resolution. And then we also have um, E, A, D, G, C, F. Um, so there's a lot going on here, um, which you should be aware of. I like to, uh, in the caden a little uh, cadential passage here, so I would sit a little bit on the E and then on the G, because the harmony dictates uh, a little more time there, or a little more emphasis rather. And then um, we go on. Uh, you have to be aware that this uh, cadence ends the musical sentence. So this is a new sentence, although it doesn't fall on the downbeat, which is uh, very confusing in this, uh, in this movement. I love this passage. Um, this is E, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, and then A. So we want to show this, uh, and then uh, I practice it slowly, just bringing out those notes, and then I do a little gesture there, which is um, kind of Baroque practice. Uh, and then there's also different ways of um, approaching uh, this. Uh, when we're talking about bar six, uh, uh, we can take uh, 
slower or we can lead into that passage Um, the way I see it, it's uh, a sequence of, of um, uh, two two quarters and then another two quarters. So, and then that's how I divide it in my head. Um, I also like to practice bringing out the top note. So, by going closer to the bridge and giving a little more uh, weight to the top note. And, because the G and the, the C are going to ring no matter what they're going to ring. Starting in the middle of bar 7, um, again, I, I like to bring the different notes. And again, I look at the uh, step progression. So F sharp, G, and uh, looking at the second, uh, second uh, voice, C, B, B, A, D. G. So um, I think of the second voice as being as you'll see in the green. Uh, my music is turning green here. Um, and then here we have a new beginning, a new. Uh, uh, beginning which I like to start a little less to give me room to grow and um, here uh, Bach repeats this uh, if you look at the bottom uh, voice and I like to show especially in the last uh, repetition of that C that he is indeed insisting on that so give a little extra time to that last C. Um, and then I also like to practice uh, separating those voices. And then I will play the second voice, um, the top voice. And then put them together. or three C B another voice that's a top voice so let me just play the bottom voice and the top will be in. and then and then the middle voice is filling in if you put it all together, um, you want to just be aware of those different voices. Here Bach repeats also three times this statement, um, and uh, as very often happens, he changes the third time. And so the third time is elongated, um, call it the Holy Trinity. of those repetitions that happen quite often uh, with Bach, uh, where he repeats a, a statement three times. Uh, usually the third time is longer, um, is a resolution, or um, is, is um, a preparation to uh, continue. But um, in this case, it's a, it's a cadential end, so second, and then third. And this is cadence. He could have finished on that G and then just repeat. But as uh, happens a lot in Baroque, there is a little kind of addendum, and um, and then he he just. Uh, a little tail. The last bar of the first half, um, we have a so no 
notice how we have F sharp G twice. Just so you have it in your ear. Um, also, um, it's, it is, uh, in my opinion and many other people's opinion, better to separate those Gs. So, not both notes distinctly.